firstly, you guys all have weird nicknames for each other, is that right? No. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. This is going really well. Yeah, no, so no, no. We, we do, but um, we have been called... Uh, the trouble is with the, with the PC brigade, um, they don't really... Some people who are so PC, they don't, they don't really get the fact that the nicknames are pure fun, do they, Greasy Wop? They do not, no. no. See? <laughs> See, Greasy Wop or so our... Who have, all, who have we got here sitting with us? Fat Man of Pop. Brilliant. For Mop. Fat Man of Pop. Fat Man of Pop. I am the Greasy Wop. Is, uh, um, I'm the band leader, so I'm Rick. Oh, <laughs> oh we can't. Behind my back. <laughs> oh, really? Daisy, Daisy Wake Piece is one of them. Daisy Wake Piece. Daisy Wake Piece. I'll call you Daisy from now on. And uh, my nickname is Cooney. What's that? Well, um, Dave Colhoun. If you ever oh, tried to okay. spell my surname, okay. you'll realise why. Okay. It's got a Q in and it. I'm, no, I don't have one yet. Okay. Oh, we'll yeah. find you one, we'll find you one. No that's need to panic. Old, that's my oldest boy, Oliver. Yes. And trust me, throughout the years, he's had many nicknames. Oh. Uh, hated being called Ollie, didn't you? Still he still hates being called Ollie. So I think that's... Do that. So I think it's going to be... Ollie. 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 <laughs> You won't get any money. Um, <laughs> how much a part of being a band is like the banter and the fun of it? Is that really something that's really important to make a band work? I don't remember having any fun, really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember it's having very any very fun? very important, it really is. The banter of the band is it's being on the road is great fun, getting together and doing all this is great fun. And if there's no fun involved, there's no point doing it. And since he's learned English, it's been oh. super. <laughs> really, really super. So, yeah, I, I, I'm understanding him quite well. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you all known each other? Obviously, different lengths of time, I'm assuming. Do we, we do have to go there, I'm afraid. 1966, Ash and I first started working together. Too long. It's too long. 1966, uh, at Watford Top Rank. And we were in a soul band, sort of a soul band, 70-piece yeah. soul band. We used to do all the great... Ashley used to do all the great Wilson Pickett, Otis Reddy stuff. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, he taught me how to be a naughty boy. Because uh, I was a little bit younger than him. In fact, I was still at school, wasn't I? You were, yeah. I'm about to cough. <coughs> um, um, I was still at school, and Ashley taught me how to be a jolly naughty boy. Um, which freaked my mum out, didn't it, at the time? She loved him in the end, yeah, but it did yeah. freak her out initially. Yeah, yeah. Took her time, but loved him at the end. Um, oh, I mean... I knocked on the door one day, and she said, things at the door. That's right, she said, there's, there's <laughs> things yeah. at the door. Because Ash had really, really long hair. It was so trendy, it was unbelievable. All I had was my school uniform and a T-shirt. And he and it had hair down there, and he had all the... It was the days of the big collars yeah. and things. And yeah. he was at the door, my mum just answered the door, looked at him, looked at him, and she went... There's a thing at the door for you. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that the first impression? Well, the funny thing was, if I remember right, my mum was off to keep fit and she had like a little short skirt yeah. on. And uh, your comment to me was, um, your mum's nice, got her legs on upside down, but she's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but they got, she loved him and they absolutely yeah. adored it. So 1966 we go back. You came for an audition in 1975. 70. Five, yeah, it was 75. Yeah, yeah came for an audition. So you yeah. actually auditioned for? The band. The band. And yeah. he, well, for the rock band. Yeah, yeah, which is the, the rock. And, uh, and you'd learnt some pieces, didn't you? And you didn't play any of them. We did something different, didn't we? Yeah, you did something completely different, yeah. yeah. And he had a wonderful dog called Snoopy that oh. came. Snoopy used to sit by the drum kit, didn't he? He was wonderful, brilliant. Yeah. Right underneath the snare drum. Yeah. <laughs> and every time he hit the snare drum, he'd go... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He played it better than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how long are you? Ten years now, Tim? Is it's, it? it's, uh, yeah, it's getting up to that ten-year yeah, time. Yeah. The first gig was yeah. in uh, Jakarta. Jakarta. It was a, 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 a substitute kind of situation. And okay. I hadn't met any of them until oh. I got off the plane at the airport. Straight away to play. And the first thing he said to me was, you must be mad. So that was the kind of so one. You, you went straight to play? Straight yeah. to play, yeah. And he played so well. We gave him the job, didn't we? we 2001, said. wasn't it? It was. Did yeah. you have a chance to look over the music before that, or you literally just well, went yeah, on and. But then what happens is you get there and then they change everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you known this gentleman? Well, I was very responsible for him, really. Um, it was an early night around. 50% the, you're 50% responsible. I had an early night around about May, and I, was a, I think the eating had gone off, and then you popped out in February, didn't you? And I was on stage when he was born. Oh, really? I might even tell the story tonight about uh, what state I was in when he was born. I, I heard. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. I was on stage with, with yes, he was born just a few minutes before I went on stage. And they handed me a couple of bottles of champagne and a few other bits and pieces. And I don't remember an awful lot. It was... Uh, Did you announce it on stage what, that you just... Yeah, just before I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, will, I, I will tell the story tonight. It's really colourful. <laughs> yeah, but it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, for the kind of things that you guys usually do, shows that you usually do, this is the first one of its kind tonight, isn't it? Anything like that. It's the first time Olive and I have really done a show together. We've, yeah. We've done okay. a show together with, when we did the Christmas shows, we did bits and pieces. But this is the first time Oliver's, Oliver's joined us. And most of these pieces of music, none of us have ever played before in any way, manner, fashion or form. Um, did you just look at the music today or you've had it for a while? And you kind of... Good. 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 Well, three hours. There is a, Brilliant. There's a special way of doing it. What I do, I work it out and I send all the guys parts and then they come to rehearsals and I, and I change everything. Uh, it's one of my... I don't have many joys in life, but it's one of my little, little fun bits of, of watching their little faces go into just hope and lost lack of hope and despair. And it's, it's, yeah, like, it's just grown men crying. Exactly. Yeah. Like grown men crying. It, yes. and it cheers me up no end. They go, well, this one wasn't on the list. And I go... I know. And, and they'll learn it, bless them, and then uh, we'll change the arrangement a little bit, um, quite a lot, which is from all they've learnt over the last few weeks. I, I don't get much enjoyment out of life, but it's one, it's one, of, my li one of my little pleasures. And, it's, and um, Ollie, how's it been working with Daisy? <laughs> it's been good fun, actually. I mean, the Christmas shows were good fun. And, um, and this is Has it been an easy process, or...? No. No, 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 no. Is it hard? Do like your dad sits there and goes, "That was the wrong note you played there," and it's a bit awkward. Or I, I, I try to keep Ashley between us. Works the oh. Other way. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You get the notes. Sorry. You get the notes. I, I, every now and then, throw in a wrong one to see if they're on their toes. <laughs> and notice. Throw in a wrong one. Yeah, I throw yeah. them in a case just to see if they're on their toes. I'll change the arrangement to see if they're on their toes. <laughs> Instant rearrangements, which he didn't yeah. tell us about. And never happen again once we've decided they were wrong. <laughs> have you ever ha has anything ever happened when you guys played together and you've just something's changed in the middle of a show and you just had to go with it? Many, many times. Oh my God. God. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, King I'm Arthur and um, yeah, I, I, Henry. I, I changed pieces in the <laughs> middle of, in the middle of a piece and didn't really realise until actually they were all looking a bit worried. And I'm thinking this is going really well. And then I think it was Ashley came over to me and said, um, he said, uh, you're playing Journey or whatever. And I said, was it Journey? I said, yeah. And he said, we're, we're playing <laughs> Catherine Parr or something. Yeah, it was Arthur and Henry, I think. Or something, yeah. whatever. Arthur and it was one of the two. I was, yeah. and, uh, but we solved it. They sort of followed me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and it was an interesting arrangement that I tried, and I didn't keep it in. It wasn't, it wasn't one to keep in, but it was... Um, no. It was mayhem. It was. There's been, a, there's <laughs> been, there's, mayhem, there's been one or two mayhems. Yes. When we do the rock show, which we're doing tomorrow, the prog show, that ain't easy. That yeah. really isn't easy. And, it, and, <clears throat> and everything that can go wrong, when well, it does go wrong, it, it is very, very difficult. But our bass player, who's not here, very wise, um, the, we call him the oracle, because he is, he's warped. He knows everybody's parts. So when it goes very wrong, which occasionally things do happen, we all look at the oracle uh, who grins for a little while and then sort of puts us all, all right. But again, really, again, really, it's, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm just seeing if they're on their toes. So um, as a band, who has the biggest, not the biggest responsibility or the hardest job? I can't think of a better way to phrase it, but who has, like, who holds the piece, whereas if they change something, it completely With this goes... Right it's, always, it's always the drama. Oh, really? <laughs> is the hardest I, job. I think it would be, actually, Absolutely. because you've got to really keep the... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, keep yeah. the keep lot the beat. together is, like, really yeah. difficult. He keeps the beat. Oh, he's... he's, um, he's I mean, one of the things that's unique about WAP is, is uh, the tempos. Yeah. I mean, he can start at a brilliant tempo and, and finish at a completely different one. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that haven't, haven't I've, I've, I've heard yeah. the start... <laughs> a real slow feel. He, he's been. He's He does a bit of work in a dance band, and the foxtrots do finish as quick steps. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And so obviously you guys have played together before. This is your one of your first times playing with this yeah, band as a whole. 
And how, how's it good? And um, how's it been? That's good fun. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Is yeah. it different to what you've experienced before, or is it? Uh, it's it's like a longer version of the Christmas shows. <laughs> okay, so they prepared you. They they put you in good stead. Uh, yeah. And in terms of tonight as a show, it's obviously a different vibe <laughs> to the big rock shows that you're doing. Oh, yeah. It's like a really intimate venue. Yeah. How is? I mean, obviously you haven't done it yet, so I can't ask you how was it, but. How it, it, it was? Re- it went yeah, really yeah, well. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we yeah. could we could Crazy. pretend we've done it. Yeah. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> um, they loved it. They loved it. The audience reaction was superb. Um, I didn't put a foot wrong. A few fingers. So, I didn't put so a foot. Far. Wrong. Both uh, Indians cried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a lovely place. It is such a lovely place. The only the only slight problem with this venue because you only got so many amount of chairs in. I do know that there are actually more people than there are chairs tonight. Oh, so okay. if you could just move your kit over a bit. Oh, you're going to have someone sat up behind me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Preferably a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, great. You want to play the drums, don't you? I do want to play the drums. I'll be back up. I'll be back up if something happens. Yeah, I think I'd be really good at that. Great, this brilliant. Is, this is seriously a very unique show. It's an, an um, we've never done an unplugged. Total one-off, isn't it? And we decided, rather than do what everybody does, which is take the rock show and then just play it acoustically, we just do pieces that, we, that people would never even dream we would do, including us. And they all have a story to them. They, they're not just random. They do have stories to them. Um, and I've got to remember that this is going out live, and I may have to change one or two of the stories. Yes. Um, it's always very easy to watch you. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, but we have an expression in the band which actually brought into the band, which I think sums us up really, which is sometimes when things do go, confident but wrong. <laughs>